wind and rain knocked out power for thousands of Northern Californians for short periods of time today. In fact, some people are still without power right now. Down trees and damaged power lines, another story of the day. KCRA 3's Mike Lurie is live in Sacramento's Land Park, and one homeowner is getting a big surprise tonight, Mike. That's right, Leedy, and what an unpleasant surprise it is. Imagine coming home to this to find out that your front yard involves a tree, a tree that has been toppled to the ground, roots that are completely out of the ground. All this because of wind gusts today that range from between 30 and 40 miles an hour. Wind gusts toppled this tree around 10 this morning in Land Park. The homeowner was away at work, but neighbor Sarah Darnell said it startled her. I was just looking out of, out of my window. I noticed it was just really windy and um, the trees were blowing. And I looked across the street and I saw my neighbor's tree fall down <laughs> on the front lawn. Was it loud? So very loud, yes. Sacramento City crews are busy today chasing down debris from the windstorm with the claw in active pursuit of leftover leaves. Smud crews are busy today too repairing power lines. About 2,300 customers were without power. Short outages for the most part triggered when branches touched a power line. We have what we call a normal rainy windy day today. Uh, we have the appropriate number of uh, crews and troubleshooters on. And wind was a factor in Fair Oaks today, where these tall trees were swaying in the wind. And along the American River, fallen trees kept crews busy at Jedediah Smith Memorial Trail. And just moments ago, we met the homeowner who lives here. Her name is Joni O'Connor. She just arrived on the scene. Joni, imagine what was your reaction when you came here and saw this tree and you're toppled in your front yard today? I'm kind of horrified and sad about it and surprised. You didn't, we didn't look this way when you left for this morning? No, not at all. It didn't draw my attention at all. So now you're going to have to get some tree trimmers and maybe oh, some neighborhood help. I guess so. Well, sorry to bring you the bad news, but hopefully your neighbors will help out. This is something that happens when we have high winds like we did today. Thank you. All right, thank you. Best of luck to you. Well, that's Joni getting the news that her tree just toppled down here. Hopefully she's got some homeowner's insurance to help cover that. We'll have more coming up tonight at 6. Reporting live from Land Park, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.